Welcome to the Product Design Show, I'm Vince Penman. Product design often happens in a multi-team setting. And that can mean that not everyone on the team is using the same CAD system. In today's episode, we'll show you how design flexibility helped two designers work with different CAD systems. I'm Allison Topperwine. Let's say I run a custom motorcycle shop. From fender to fender, everything on my bike is meticulously detailed. Even though I do most of my design work in-house, from time to time I have to look to other designers for helping making specialized parts. Usually that means Vince comes to me. In fact, just the other day, Vince sent me a model for a triple tree that needed to be modified to fit one of his bikes. When I first sent my model over to Allison, I wasn't certain she'd be able to work on it. You see, I run a different CAD system than she does. What Vince didn't know was that on my system, it doesn't matter where the CAD files originated. Whether it be a step, IGES, or a proprietary file format, I can import a model and maintain the ability to recognize and modify its features. Allison called this design flexibility, but I still wasn't sure how this was going to work out. So she walked me through the process. The first thing that we need to modify on your triple tree are these posts. To fit the new bike, they'll have to be moved away from the steer tube and rotated 45 degrees. But to do that, you'll have to edit their symmetrical constraints and change their relation to the tree's central plane. You're right, but since we're using direct modeling, all I have to do is assign a symmetry to the posts, and then I can pull them into their new position. That was pretty easy. But we're not done yet. Now I can rotate the posts into their new position, and when I'm finished, I can mirror an identical copy on the other side of the triple tree. What about the bolt pattern surrounding the steer tube? The new design needs to have a five bolt pattern, not a six. Well, modifying your bolt pattern is going to be easy too. Once I select one of the bolt holes, my software can recognize the pattern, and I can redefine it by simply entering the number five. And there you have it, a new triple tree design. You know, I've always been worried about working with companies that don't use the same CAD systems that I do. I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore. So what did we learn from this story, other than the fact that Vince and I are awesome motorcycle designers? Well, with direct modeling, the range of files that can be shared has expanded considerably. Now the old fear of working with vendors or clients that use a different CAD system isn't nearly such a big deal. Yes, importing and making changes to non-native models can be quick and efficient. And if you do want to add parametric intelligence to your model, you can do it without worrying that the model will crash. Thanks to PTC Inc. for sponsoring this episode. To learn more about flexible modeling, visit ptc.com slash solutions slash design agility. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.